Hello Virgo, welcome to your October 2024 monthly reading. Virgo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising, your Venus, to see if there's any clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. If you're looking for something specific, um, I always, I mean, I offer personal readings if you really want to um, go that route also. If you, you know, have something specific, specific. <laughs> All right, everything's in the description below. We start out, um, uh, let's see, my name's Rudy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have um, the Queen of Pentacles. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have the Page of Swords coming out of the gate. So coming the energy that you have coming in so far into October, you have this, um, I almost feel like it's a full energy, kind of like devil may care energy. I also feel like you feel like you can do no wrong. You might be on a lucky streak. You might be winning. You might be doing things that are... Um, taking things off your list. It's kind of that energy that I have with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are shifting. Things are on your side. Things are moving in your direction and you're feeling it. You're, you're confident in that. And we have, it could be something with finances. It could be something with your job. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, it is either, Pentacles are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? So it can be you, it can be symbolized you, even though it's female, it can be male. But it is in control of finances, in control of money. So it could be you. If it's not you, it could be um, a, uh, a boss or somebody in a higher position that is noticing you, that is seeing you, that is um, going to, you know, award you or reward you with, with a raise or a promotion, something like that that I see coming in. And then we have the Page of Swords, and it could be because of your... Um, your ideas that you have you could be having fresh ideas you could be having new ideas you could be thinking out of the box with the swords again you know um gemini libra aquarius here but it's it's your thoughts it's your vision it's what you have in the future going on it can also have something to do with a child uh, pages are often you know younger children so it could have something to do there but i feel that it is a um It's an energy of new and fresh, innovative. The High Priestess, that's beautiful. Again, I feel like the feeling's like you can do no wrong. Um, it's like if, if, if you're gambling and you have, you know, you can figure the cards out or you can figure out something. I'm not saying that that's what it is, but that's kind of the... You cracked a code for something and it could be your life. Maybe you know what direction you want your life to go in now. Maybe you know um, what you want the outcome to be. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. So clarifiers for the wheel of fortune we have the high priestess the high priestess is your knowledge it goes it harkens back really well to this page of swords this new um, innovative ideas thoughts uh what you could bring to a company what you could bring to a business or a job maybe even you're venturing out on your own you could be starting something on your own something that you've learned something that you perfected something that maybe your parents did or your grandparents did and you're venturing out on your own as well. That's a possibility. Because the high priestess is all about what you know. It is about your knowledge. Um, there's a time to put books away and a time to trust your instincts and your guts and show show everybody what you got, show everybody what you can do. And that is kind of what you're doing. I feel like you're taking that leap of faith. That's where I feel that full energy coming in. You're taking that leap of faith, but it's all in good. It's all for the greater good. Um, it's not hurting anybody is what I feel. And this queen of pentacles, if it's you, again, you're taking the lead. You're taking the high seat. You're taking the honors. But you're walking away from something that no longer serves you, right? 
you're walking away. Eight of Cups, it can be something that you did like, maybe a position you did care for. You really liked a certain position, but you're walking away from it. Um, walking away from something you love or something that you had feelings or attachments to into something new, into something that you are creating or you are doing yourself here with, um, with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. You are forging ahead. You are doing something either that, like I said, you've learned or you perfected. I think I used that word before, something you've perfected. Because to me, the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, doing something over and over again, getting it right, trying your best. Um, it can also be, to me, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So it could, maybe it's something that it's not the first time that you've stepped off the ledge to try this, maybe. But I feel now energy has shifted. Things are in your favor. Things are moving in your direction. Maybe now you can let go of whatever was holding you back, whatever these eight cups were that were holding you back. Move yourself forward into that position that you're looking for. Uh, bottom of the deck, which is subconscious, we have the seven of wands here. And I feel like this is just defending you, defending your area, your um, ideas, your you know, realm with whatever you have, with whatever you have to do. I feel like there's a lot of naysayers around you. I feel like there's a lot of people that um, are trying to beat you down or are trying to tell you, you know, you can't do it or what are you thinking, that kind of energy. But you, you made the decision to stand your ground and to, you know, not only stand your ground, but to set your boundaries and move yourself forward in the direction you want to go. It's a beautiful reading. And take a look at health, career, finance, and love. Health, career, finance. Whoa. Guess we'll take that one for love. All right, for health, Virgo, we have corridor. Hmm. Going down a long hallway. Um, Okay, first thing that pops into my head, and that's usually what I go with, is you've been on a long road, and I almost feel like it's a long road of recovery, whatever that means for you, um, but you've come a long way to get to where you're, you're at or to get to where you're going. I don't know if you're there yet, but you can see progress, and I feel like you've taken the initiative to take care of yourself, and it's showing. There's, there's um, you know, there's that beacon, there's that light that you're working towards, that you're moving towards. I feel too that you're not the same person you were like even six months ago. I feel like a lot's changed in your life. Um, again, I keep getting recovering. Uh, so if it's some type of addiction recovery or if it's some type of recovering from a surgery or recovering from an operation or recovering from some type of mental strain or stress that you've had to endure. But I do feel like, I don't know, Almost like somebody's there watching you. Somebody there, somebody there is there guiding you. And I have to say this too because of the light in that figure there. Some of you may have had a near-death experience. And that kind of woke you up health-wise. Career. We have mask. Mm. Maybe that is why you chose to leave. Maybe you are getting out of the corporate. Maybe you're getting out of whatever you're in because people aren't uh, who they say they are. People aren't um, truthful and trustworthy. Um, you could be done with it all. You know, the sword, swords are truth. The sword is a sword of uh, knowledge and integrity and, again, values. And I feel like maybe you weren't seeing that in a corporate world. So you are changing that or you are trying to get out of it or you are... Um, not participating in that. Your finances, you have fire. This is passion, your desire. Um, fire is fast moving energy. So I feel like this is a very good omen for finances. I feel like things are going to come fast and furious with the fire uh, card. It can also be Larry, Larry's, Aries, Leo, or Aquarius energy. 
that is has something to do with finances. Um, but it's your passion, your desire is what you want to manifest. And I, again, I feel like your your finances could be doubling or tripling or moving in that direction. And your love life, you have dystopia. Mm. Interesting. I just feel like um, things, there's a breakdown of, if you're in a relationship, there's a breakdown of some type of communication. There's a breakdown of some type of um, trust or truth or something that kind of had to happen. And, you know, kind of like these trees, new leaves have to grow, new, 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 um, new ideas have to spring forth from this. And it kind of brings you all to um, square one again. If you're not in a relationship. I feel like maybe you've been hurt and burned too many times and maybe you're just not ready for a new relationship. And I also feel like you want um, the relationship on not on your terms, but you want to you want a fair. You want you're looking for fair. All right. Pull one more card for you guys. Haunted house. Interesting. I feel like this is shadow work. This is things that are hidden in your psyche, things that you are maybe afraid of or fearful of facing that you might need to have a take a deep dive, take a dark night of the soul, so to speak, and really go in that house and go in room by room. It could be, I also feel something from your childhood or something from your um, growing up or uh, family life that you have to work through that you have to, uh, and I feel like this is tied in well with this card as well, for love. I feel like if you can work through that, you can break a barrier to maybe partnership even. There could be something that it keeps reoccurring in your life that needs to be gone through. Uh, almost like with a fine tooth comb, you need to really Figure out and see what's blocking you, what you're afraid of, what you fear, what, you know, haunts your dreams, what, what is, maybe keep a dream journal even. I feel like this is a very good dream card as well. Keep a dream journal. Um, if you have nightmares, if you have uh, any type of Negativity is not the right word, but any type of blockage that you feel in your childhood, in your growing up years. The path is illuminated. You know, you're, you, you're being shown the way to go. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, guys, that's about all I'm getting for you. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. If this resonates, please give it a thumbs up. And give it, you know, a happy emoji or leave me a comment if you need to ask anything. I try to answer everybody. Uh, if you know any other Virgos, this sounds like feel free to share. That is great as well. Let me know what your take is on the haunted house. What do you feel when you see this card? What does it bring up for you? For a um, for the outcome of this reading, or or just as a bonus in in this reading, what does it bring up for you? Um, I just feel like it's a facing your fear, or or um, don't be afraid to go on the path that you know you want to go on. Even right, you've come a long way. I do feel that you've come a long way. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, be blessed, and until next month, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.